we're looking at how to carry out a total oxygen test um, of water treated with chlorine dioxide or just in general. So this is using the MD100 photometer, as we can see here. For this particular test, for the total oxidants, we need four reagents. We need a DPD number one, a DPD number three, a DPD acidifying, and a DPD neutralizing. These are all tablets. We need a 10 millimeter, 10 milliliter syringe, a 10 milliliter vial, and a crushing rod to dissolve, to crush and dissolve the tablets. So we've already got our sample of water here. The first thing we do is take our 10 milliliter vial. Make sure it's been cleaned up thoroughly and rinsed out from any previous tests before we start. We take a 10 milliliter sample of water using the syringe. So just make sure that's at 10 milliliters. So we put that sample of water into the vial, place the cap on. Secure tight and using a soft cloth or a paper towel, just make sure to wipe the outside of the vial to make sure there's no water residue before we insert it into the photometer to carry out the test. So, for the total oxygen test, we switch the photometer on with the on off key and we use the mold key to move to the CL6 program on the MD100. Place the vial into the photometer, making sure to line up the arrows on the vial and the photometer itself, and we press the zero key. The photometer will now blank the sample, and once we get the not, not, not reading, we take that sample of water from the vial, and we empty the vial out. Now you would normally empty this out in a bucket, but for demonstration purposes, we can put this back in here. We now take our DPD-1 tablet, and we pop the tablet directly into the vial, trying not to touch the tablet when we do so. Using the crushing rod, Gently crush the tablet down. We don't need to use any excessive force here, we're just trying to crush the tablet. Leave the stirring rod in there for the time being. Now take some water using the R syringe, and this time we need to fill that vial up to the 10 millimeter, milliliter mark, so we put some water in there. You can now take that syringe out, get rid of any undissolved, any tablet that's stuck on it, place that to the side, fill that up to the 10 milliliter mark. Close that vial up and we gently invert five or ten times. Take the cap off. And now we need to add a DPD-3 tablet and in the same way Try to do this without cropping the tablet on the side and straight into the actual vial itself. Here we go. Take the crushing rod and once again just gently crush the tablet, swirl, crush, swirl, and try. 
try and dissolve as much of that tablet as you possibly can. Take the stirring rod out. Place the cap on it. But five or ten times. And at this stage, we have to leave this for two minutes for the reaction to carry out. So at the end of the two minute period, we take our next tablet, which is the acidifying tablet. So we open up the vial again. And in the same way, pop the tablet directly into the cell. Get our crushing one again. Do the same thing. So crush that tablet. Gently, so as not to create any air bubbles. Let's cap on again. Once again, just going to invert it about five or ten times, just to dissolve any of the tablet. Once again, at this stage, we've got to leave this for another two minute reaction period. And at the end of that two minute period, we end up placing our final tablet, which is the DPD neutralizing tablet. So we get the tablet out. And we add that. The cell, once again, without using your fingers, if you can help avoid it. Some of these tablets can be harder to crush than others, but you have to avoid trying to hit them too hard and generating some air. this stage. We don't need to wait for a two minute period, we can go straight in and do our test. So we can cut that, invert that again five or ten times. We get our soft cloth, paper towel, Wipe the outside to make sure there's no water residue and fingerprints, ensuring not to touch that vial again. And line up the arrows, place into the photometer. Typically wait about 10 seconds to let any solid, any um, tablet to settle, any air bubbles to settle as well. We then press the zero stroke test key. And the photometer will now give us a reading and at this point, we're getting a reading of 0.57 ppm. We'll hit the test key again. We've got a reading of 0.56. Hit one more time. And we've got 0.56 ppm again. So we've got three very consistent readings there, which we can accept as our reading for the total oxidants. So all in all, that's the process to follow when carrying out the total oxygen test.